Some Ohio leaders now looking to the next generation, trying to bolster the state's workforce. Today, Lieutenant Governor John Houston stopping by a Central Ohio Career Center for an in-demand jobs week. NBC 4's Catherine Ross explaining why Houston is pushing for more students to pursue tech and vocational education. The lieutenant governor calls schools like SeaTech here critical in developing the future of Ohio's workforce. He's been out this week promoting tech and vocational education in order to help the state's economic recovery. Gabe Humes is still a sophomore in high school, but he's already charting a career in automotive technology. I just wasn't very interested in going to college, and this gave me a different opportunity instead of pursuing higher education. Wednesday, Lieutenant Governor John Husted is applauding students like Humes signing on to education at the Career and Technical Education Centers of Licking County. You meet with employers on, a, on almost a daily basis who say, I can't find enough people to go to work who have these kinds of skills. And you come here and you see the place that we're developing the students with those skills. Houston says there are at least 92,000 skilled jobs immediately available in the state, all paying more than $50,000 salaries. Many are accessible for students directly out of high school, often with minimal costs. The pathway of working, uh, earning and learning at the same time uh, are the pathways of the future. That's the plan for students like Humes, and Husted hopes more will follow similar pathways to pump workers into Ohio's economy. There are a lot, a lot of jobs out there that pay great wages and, and great, are great careers that are available. And the governor's office is hoping that the upcoming budget will include incentives and financial aid for students pursuing tech and vocational education. Local for you in Newark, Catherine Ross, NBC4.